Bobby Witt Jr. gloves it and throws in time with a dime. That speed is a beautiful thing. What a play. Popped up into shallow left field and Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. throws. He got it. And another highlight to his long and lengthy highlight tape of the season this year. This is Bobby Witt Jr. He was the best fielding shortstop this year, but he will not be winning the gold glove. In my opinion, he's the biggest snub for the gold glove in recent memory. The players that are in contention over him are Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, and Anthony Volpe. This seems to be a universally disliked decision based off of what people are saying on Twitter. Bobby Witt himself is even confused with the decision. Baseball Savant has an overarching fielding stat that puts every fielding metric into one number. That stat is called fielding run value, and Bobby Witt Jr. ranks number one out of all American League shortstops. The three actual nominees for the award rank as follow. Anthony Volpe 5th, Carlos Correa 9th, and Corey Seager 12th. Why is it that these players get nominated over Bobby Witt? Could it be due to the fact that the Royals were one of the worst teams in baseball this year? MLB may not want to promote smaller markets as they do not generate the same income as bigger markets. Carlos Correa and Corey Seager were both on playoff teams, and Anthony Volpe is on the Yankees. This could explain why the Royals were so undercovered in awards. Michael Garcia is another player fans were upset not to see as a finalist for a Gold Glove award. His story is the same as teammate Bobby Witt Jr. Garcia ranked first in field and run value according to Baseball Savant. Players can't control where they play, they can only play to the best of their abilities wherever they are. Last year, Cabrian Hayes was nominated for a Gold Glove award at third base. He was far and away the best fielder, not only at his position, but he was one of the best fielders in baseball. Hayes had the most defensive run saves, outs above average, fielding run value, and highest fielding percentage among third basemen. Nolan Arenado won the award over Hayes for his 10th consecutive gold glove. His stats were below Hayes. He had 19 defensive runs saved, 15 outs above average, 11 fielding run value, and a 968 fielding percentage. The biggest difference between those two players was their popularity. Hayes was on a lowly Pirates team, and Arenado was playing for the playoff Cardinals. Arenado was an MVP candidate this year, and he had the gold glove streak going to start his career. It's a shame that Bobby Witt will not be recognized for his fielding, as he had such a big turnaround from last year. As a rookie in 2022, Bobby Witt did not live up to his defensive expectations. This was partly due to him splitting time between third base and short. This year, Witt established himself not only on defense, but all around. He had a 30-30 season and put some life into a very bad Royals team. What do you think about the Gold Glove Award? Should something be done about it? Thank you for watching and come back for more videos like this.